Good morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you on a Monday here, beginning of February. Um, stocks took a little plunge on that first hour down to around 36.50. Now we're 37.16. Should be resistance between sort of 37.20 and 40 today. So mildly risk off, but kind of neutral on the day. Uh, a couple of charts that are of interest. Here's the euro dollar chart. Obviously, everyone's looking at this 120.58 line, um, which is now pretty standard head and shoulders type deal. Also, be aware that this gets negated sort of through 121.90. So anyone who's short, pre-short, before this neckline uh, will puke at 90. Uh, but you can also expect to see a lot of um, CTA type guys playing around through 120.58. Dollar Swiss, of course, um, we have this chart that's been sort of, you know, lurking. 21 the high, uh, basically 22 the high here. Um, a daily close above 89.29. 89.25 is, is important, sort of fresh air until 89.80. Um, if this does get through, it really, you know, provides really a, a, a base for further gains. I'm not sure what's going to drive this. Obviously, rates are a little bit higher today. That's usually a key driver in Dollar Swiss, but Dollar Swiss dances to its own sick song. Um, so... Let's keep an eye on this level, 89 and a quarter. Dollar yen, I would say uh, not really doing dick here. Um, we did pop up to 94, but then we dropped back to 50. Typical dollar yen, like some sort of lethargic, um, you know, in need of some Viagra type of break. Pretty floppy, really. Let's face facts. Um, no, nothing to do in dollar yen. Dollars are just annoying, at least for me. Uh, I'm not sure why this didn't go higher with all the risk off on Friday, um, but we puked a fair, a fair few there below uh, 15 double O, um, which is kind of near the low, which is always fun. But such is life. Let's watch 15.38 triple top up here. I don't know why this is down here. Obviously, dollar max popped because of the um, COVID news, you know, infecting key members of the government. Your 1538 level is the equivalent of 20, 2066 in, in dollar max. Aussie, taking a box, not really doing too much. Should be sort of heading lower, but it's kind of not just kind of sitting here doing nothing um, early doors were down to 05 now we're back at 53 as you can see with this daily chart and you can show it better on the hourlies both sides taking pain got the gimp suit on hard to be long hard to be short Aussie I think shorts the way but man, not easy. Aussie yen, <laughs> similar, similar uh, chicanery, douchebaggery. Um, up to eighty fifty. That was the dollar yen move. Um, also claimed victims in CAD yen. Like, why did CAD yen do this on Friday? Equities are collapsing. Oil collapsed in the end. CAD yen. Still went up to 82.20. Um, you can imagine, based on my tone, how I was positioned in CAD yen on Friday. Anyway, moving on. No idea why this is here. Um, Kiwi yen, same thing. These are all yen driven charts, and I guess the market, like we were, were kind of a positioned risk off and, and playing that game. And everyone took a visit to the proctologist. Kiwi, nothing to do with that. 
Let's look at gold. Gold floated a little bit higher, but still in the middle of nowhere. This doesn't really get interesting until we get through these highs, which is 1880. Um, we can look at silver just because of Wall Street bets and these guys who are trying to corner the silver market. Astounding. They push this thing up three bucks. That's 10%. Um, it's pretty good. more than 10 percent more like 12 percent anyway uh, silver's on a tear uh, and this is just from the Wall Street bets chat room no real other reason for this God bless those guys um, here they are Bitcoin not doing too much when it looks really bid up at 38 you want to sell when it looks really offered at 32 you want to buy um, we're square crude Went up to 53 and a quarter uh, on Friday, which didn't suit us at all. But kind of as soon as we stopped out, we stopped out at 90, um, it collapsed, right? Collapsed down to 52, went dropped 2% as soon as Privateer puked. Um, today we took a visit down to 5160. I think crude has to go lower. Um, but it's been tricky, like all of these, uh, all of these charts directionally. It's been tricky because you have these two or three percent swings against you, and so timing this uh, is interesting. Obviously, those who spanked the monkey this morning through 52 looked pretty good when we were at 51.60. Uh, looks less good here at 52.50. My mind crude should go lower, um, but we'll see. It's like a GameStop. I wanted to uh, put a post on Wall Street Bets about like what happened in 1999 when all of these like sort of prepubescent muppets were long tech stocks and 18-year-olds were coming into the living room saying I I made eighteen thousand dollars being long. Nortel networks. Um, ask any of them who are now, I guess, you know, probably 58, what happened? I'll tell you what happened. Um, none of them harvested gains. They all got fucked. The institutional guys who were uh, left upside down by the whole thing, technically upside down, were untouched, right? Why? Because institutional guys manage other people's money. So the ones that blew up, they just said, well, I don't really give a shit. But, and so the difference I want to tell these guys is when GameStop goes back to, to four bucks, which inevitably it is, um, that's your money you're going to lose. It's not the pension fund. It's not CalPERS pension fund or Deutsche Asset Management's money. It's your money. Um... So please, for the love of God, harvest some gain. Harvest some profits. We saw that uh, Kiss of Death Wall Street Journal article this weekend um, from the ringleader guy uh, who's up supposedly millions of dollars. Please, just harvest your gains is all I'm saying. Uh, like, I know how this is going to end. I don't know when it's going to end or why it's going to end. Um, I was on a call last night and someone said, uh, I said, how did the uh, bubble burst in, in, at the end of the tech bubble, 2000, 2001? And the guy was like, I can't even remember. Was it like, uh, was it like media companies? Was it telecoms uh, that burst it? And it, it's funny, like... You could name a million reasons why it burst, but it did. And all of these stocks um, lost 95% of their value, and a lot of people got fucked. So if you're playing this GameStop or this Silver or this AMC thing, please harvest your gains at some point. Because it's not it's funny now, and it's fun, and I'm glad the little guy's winning. But if the little guy's going to lose in the end, it's just another stupid, sad story. 
So, I don't know. Keep that in mind. Anyway, rant over. Uh, well, let's watch this dollar Swiss trading up at 22 now. I'm going to hop and, and take care of some business here. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.